Hey guys, I'm back. Not at the Blue Lagoon, but at a different lake. We're down at Fenland Fisheries now, testing our luck here. It's in early March, so I haven't seen you since, well, late February. It's just been a few weeks. I haven't been able to get out for three weeks. So, uh, and I still haven't got much time on my hands at the minute. I'm really chopped up with work. I've got both kids' birthdays this week. Uh, so yeah, it's been pretty, pretty chaotic. But we're here, and I haven't fished here for about seven years. It's only a little lake, it's the smallest lake I've fished for some time. A little two and a half to three acre lake. We've got a decent head of carp in here, and it's doing some thirties now. So uh, that looks promising, doesn't it? And uh, you missed it just before I turned the camera on. I've just seen a fish show out there. I've been here about 15 minutes now, look, you can see I'm just uh, still getting the place set up. And uh, just brought you over here for a little, and that's my old boy there. Look, I'll zoom in on him. He's come down, it's his birthday tomorrow morning. Riley, oh, look, he's just caught a fish. What did you have there, mate? Uh, I don't know, I think it was a rod. Rod, good lad. Put a bit of corn on, mate. Try your luck for a little calf or tench now. So he's absolutely as buzzing to be here as I am. This is his first. First trip down this year, so uh, so yeah, we're both as excited as each other. Well, I did get down uh, probably about five six days ago. Actually, I come into the shop here to get some treatment from my pond for blanket weed. It's got pretty bad over this winter. Every three years, I have a bit of a burst in the old pond. So uh, and it just so happened I had five kilo in the van, so I just scattered about three kilo out there towards that blue bin not very far out about 20 yards it's not a big lake i don't want to interfere with other people's fishing and uh i'll walk just along here also put about three quarters of a kilo just down this margin out towards that peg i'm looking at right there dead center i scattered it all out i don't want the fish to be confined to a little area i want to get them spread out and feeding so uh like i say that's five or six days ago now I'm here, I'm just going to chuck a couple of bags out and put three mini spoms, not spom, sorry, I'm actually going to use the little spod just to make uh, as less disturbance as possible. I can just lay that on the water very gently. It's not a long cast, so the spod's perfect for it. And uh, I miss the old little mini spod, the corder one, that's, just, that's awesome, you can just lay it on there so gently. So uh, I'm losing light pretty fast. Uh, so I'm going to zoom out, zoom right in there. So I'm going to get the house up now and get the rods in and uh, hopefully see you with some updates and uh, get into some action. So uh, let's see what this spring brings us in March. See, how, see if March treats me as kindly as January and February did. That epic sessions on Blue Lagoon and then that 30 off monks to start the new year. And uh, here we are again. We'll see what happens. For now, I will uh, get set up and I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, just a quick uh, early evening update. So I'm not sure what the screen's a bit misty in there. So I just had a big boss on the left hand rod and uh, it was definitely one of the big girls. It, it, had, it was definitely upper 20, 30, or at least minimum mid 20. It come out as a big boss, big head roll, big slap. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to keep working that screen. Got the old chicken kebabs going now for me and the boy for his little bee day. But yeah, anyway, it was it was a big gal, mate. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> if I was on a different lake, I'd have sworn it was a forty. It sounded huge, and uh, obviously I know it's only a small lake, but there was some big fish in there, and there's fish in there that haven't been out for you know a year or two. So who knows how big some of the fish get to in there, and uh, I'm sure we'll find out hopefully. But uh, things are looking promising. Uh, I've had uh, two liners on the right hand rod and then uh, obviously that big bosh out on the left hand rod. So uh, things are looking promising for tonight, it's lovely and warm out there. Sorry guys, the camera just cut off there for no reason whatsoever. Strange, why did that do that for? Oh. I'll have a look at that shortly. So anyway, things look promising. Uh, big bosh out two liners 
Uh, there is someone fishing on the middle island. Um, I think I heard him have a run earlier. So I'm not sure how big it is. I walk around tomorrow and I see what he had anyway. I'm sure he'll maybe get a bite or two over there. It's a good peg where he is. So uh, it's looking warm. It's uh, going down to about 6 degrees tonight, so that's not too bad. Pretty warm for nighttime temperatures. Uh, remember we're in early March here now, so uh, but, uh, yeah, so things are looking good. Things are looking good also down here for the fishing and the food. Obviously, you guys know what I have it's Nando's sauce. Even my boy loves it, the old medium. Smear that in a bit now. Oh, smells lovely. When I know I'm having chicken kebabs down the lake, I I don't have one for a couple of days before. No chicken kebabs, so I look forward to it even more when I'm down on the bank. It's so nice to be down here. No car traffic noise, no nothing. That's lovely. Look at that chicken. Oh, mate, that looks amazing. Can't wait to get that in me, I tell ya. So, uh, it's not too late. I should imagine it's, when I last looked, it was about half seven. It's probably about half past eight now. A bit of a late dinner, but the boy's starving. I had him off for as long as I could. Uh, I didn't get the rods in till probably quarter to seven. I've had the rods in for about an hour. Um, probably an hour and a half now, probably. And, uh, like I say, instant, that Bosch, that was right over the left-hand rod. Literally, it was on top of the rig. Uh, so it looks promising. Look at that chicken, that's colouring up nicely now. You see me mentioned before, the floor butter is absolutely awesome. It don't melt, so you can bring it with you in the summer and just cook with it. Rather than oil and risking the lid coming off and all that rubbish. I have butter, because then you can butter your bread. And do all your cooking in it. And it's relatively low fat and it tastes nice too. Got to have butter on your bacon, didn't you? For your bread and that. So yeah, I just keep trickling on the Nando sauce gently throughout the cook. Back on there, I'll spill it all. So you can see we're quite toasty in here. There's the lad. I've He's... Up now. <laughs> there you go. He wants to turn the laptop up. Yeah, go on, turn it up, mate, turn it up. It is your B-day, after all. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that, and uh, if you see me soon, it will be with a uh, monster carp, hopefully. See you in a bit. Hi, guys. So I managed to snare a couple of bites last night. Started off with a little mirror, probably about five or six pounds. A little puff of the lake. Uh, and then... Uh, Early this morning, a little while back, I had a, a better run and uh, a much better bend in the rod, and I've got a nice common. Lovely little dark winter common. Bit of an old warrior, it is a real old fish, this. Nice, lovely little fish. Real black along his back. Stunning. Gonna give it a quick way. Should imagine it's around the 20 pound mark. Full of character. Just under 21 is the magic number. More than happy. Awesome. So my first session back down here in years. And I've got a real nice wily old common. That's uh, got a lot of poo coming out of it. A lot of poo. That's awesome. He's been on the bait. Look at all that. He's been on it hard. Just to show you, oh god, it's everywhere. There you go, look, just to... 
to show you I'm not lying. That is everywhere, the sling is covered. Jesus. So before this fish tripped up to my rig, it's obviously had his head down for a fair while before it managed to get captured. And the uh, fish is still cold. Proper old warrior this, this is lovely looking common. Real wily, slim, torpedo like. Get you up and have a look. It's a long fish. There you go. <laughs> lovely. Proper warrior. So all the commons in this lake are the old original fish. So uh, yeah, this fish could be, you know, 20 plus years old. Lovely, lovely and long. Some fish just don't reach the size of others. This is obviously just an old warrior. Probably a male fish. And uh, yeah, he's covered in leeches and stuff. But nice mouth and head on it. Lovely. A great start to part one on Fenland Fisheries for Maiden Lake. So I'm only going to do a couple more sessions on here, just overnighters, so I haven't got a lot of time. Let's flip you around baby. Uh, I haven't got much time free over the next few weeks so I'm going to make the most of it by just coming down for overnighters on here. I'll try and get 1.30 and I'll be extremely happy. There's only a handful of 30s in here. So 130 would be magical. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Bar of gold. In what seemed to be the early signs of spring. Couldn't be happier. Lovely long wily old fish. I'll take these any day. Well, that's 120 done. See how many more we can get over the next few sessions. Brilliant. Right. I'm going to get a couple of steels quickly and uh, slip her back and I'll speak to you in a bit. So after my 20 pound common, up higher, a little bit higher, my boy's gone and got himself his first tench. How happy are you birthday boy? Hey. Awesome, so he was actually fishing for the tench as well, and uh, that's the first tench he's ever caught. Smile for the camera, my boy. And there we go, we're both going home happy anglers. See you in a bit. I can't believe spring is finally here. That's so exciting. Another year of angling. Awesome. The sun is beautiful. It's come up to about 11 degrees at the minute. It's about half ten now on the, on the, in the morning. And uh, it's looking good. So I had two fish, two bites, one night, which is not too bad. I had a, a smaller fish, I was hovering probably in between five and eight pound. Obviously didn't weigh it, it was a little pup, but, uh, but yeah, obviously I had that beautiful 20, which has made the session. I was only here to try and pinch one bite overnight, and uh, that's such a special old common, that little one, because uh, that is in fact one of the oldest residents in here. Obviously it's a male fish. Uh, Beautifully proportioned and very, very dark. So, uh, yeah, on the left hand rod, I just put a four foot, four inch zig out. And uh, yeah, things are looking promising. I've seen two shows out long, about 16 wraps that way. So I'll put a, a zig on them. <clears throat> and uh, a bit of yellow foam was the pick of the choice for today and quite a big piece as well 
sometimes for uh, wary of fish in clearer water, I fish smaller pieces of frame, but I've gone this one for about 13 mil and nice and bright and yellow. Because the water is still slightly cloudy, there's some beating into this water here. So uh, the right hand rod is still out there from last night's action and that has got a small bag on it with a 12 mil boilie and that is actually also on yellow little yellow wafter because the other two bites come on yellow I've decided to go all out yellow can't go wrong with that look how beautiful it is, look how warm it is It's nice to fish such a small little lake for once. That feels good. It'd be nice to get one of these elusive 30s that are in here. Because obviously there's so many small fish. The ducks are finally give up trying to get my bait. Little swine's trying to dive down eight foot. And uh, the worrying thing was that we were actually coming up with boilies occasionally too. An eight foot of water. But yeah, so things look promising. And uh, I'm a happy man. I got the bite I was after. And it was a 20 to make it uh, a little bit sweeter. And we'll see what today brings. And uh, hopefully, if you hear from me again, it'll be with a fish in the net. But if I don't see you then, I will see you next week for part two at Fenland Fisheries. Well guys, I thought that was going to be the last update for this week. But uh, after changing uh, the left hand rod to a zig, I then put them both on zigs. And uh, within two hours, so about two hours ago now, I had an uh, 11 pound little black mirror and I've just had another fish now Let's see if we can see her not a mahusive fish but a nice little mirror so uh, it's worth giving her a little weigh and seeing what she goes but yeah, happy days, it's just bites at the end of the day so the tactics to change the two zigs on today where well, I might have sat on the bottom and not got a bite it's pinched me an extra two bite so uh, more than happy so uh, we're gonna get her out shortly and have a little look and uh, see how big she goes I'll see you in a bit ah, so here we are with that mirror second mirror of uh, this afternoon both about to zigs so not a massive fish but a nice little black mirror get me off the mark for the place hopefully things will keep improving as time goes on Happy days. What a great decision, eh? Look just perfect for Ziggs. Yeah, calm down, baby. I will say this, the four fish I have had. So, uh, yeah, I've had four fish now. Yeah, two today. One early this morning and uh, one last night. Oh, covered in leeches. So these fish have been sitting dormant. Even though we've had a nice spike in temperature. There she is, I'll get her up because I ain't got much battery left on this one. Come on baby. Full of leeches. You gonna behave? You gonna behave? No. But a really good scrap as well. So not bad for 24 hours fishing. Four bites. Obviously there's no 40s in here. But there's still a few 30s to go at, that's the main thing. And uh, this time of year, I'm pretty much, pretty, pretty happy with catching nice twenties. Like I can say some of the fish in here are really old and uh, full of character, and that's what it's about. Obviously, some of them. This is a newer fish. Uh, there you go. There you go. Little nice mirror. Uh, I should imagine it will definitely be finishing the session off. Although I just did ping the rod back out, both the rods are back out. It's back straight back on the spot while this fish was in the net recovering for five minutes. 
and uh, happy days. Have a look at the other side quickly. A few more scales here. And then I'm going to slip her straight back. I'm not going to bother with any steels. Ah, lovely. The lighting's not great, guys. I just can't be bothered to move the camera. <laughs> to be honest, I'm packing up. But, uh, so I'm going to get packed up over the next hour or so. Still got the two rods out. You never know, there might be time for one more. But if not, again, what a lovely way to finish. And I shall be back next week for my 24-hour session on here. And, uh, See if we can get one of them that are swim about in here. But uh, anyway, till then, I'll see you next time. Come on, baby, let's get you back. Oh, I've got another one on the other rod. I've got another one. Again, as I was rudely interrupted, let me just sort this camera out. There we go. Another mirror. So when you get things right and you get the depth right, Happy days, let me just adjust this. Two fish in 20 minutes. Happy days, eh? Four foot seems to be the chosen depth. Six foot hasn't done anything. Not a massive fish. Why had the camera set up? But why not give you another little look? Things you heard the take live on camera. Great action in probably the first day of spring. That's five fish now in 24 hours. Obviously with that nice old 20 pound common. I haven't weighed this one. Just imagine it's around 14 pound mark, maybe 15 pound. Maybe a little less, actually it feels quite light. But uh, just proving again, you don't need to be on the bank forever. 24 hour session, it's more than enough for the old boy to pinch a few bites and he's had a few more carp as well up to about three and a half pound so we're both going home happy and uh, I'll see you next week for part two.